Okay, a quick look at the animation system I'm making right now. My previous animation system was, well, let's say a bit complicated, to say the least, with all the blends and all the AK that's going on. And uh, yeah, going forward with this was a pain, <laughs> but I came to some really useful conclusion. And now the new system is being run by gameplay tags that are being stored in a data table. Uh, this is the component that is actually managing all the heavy lifting and it's also managing all the multiplayer stuff. So this is a very important part. This is the example character, it just has the component and it's running for now only one event on this component. And this event is changing the uh, rotation type, which I will show in a second. <coughs> this is the main uh, animation graph. This is using just a same locomotion catch pose for different movement modes, which is based on character movement component movement modes. You can always add new movement modes like flying, swimming and custom for, you know, ragdoll or anything else. And uh, you don't have to run it on variables, you can just run it on state of the movement component. So right now uh, I am taking base state from here. There is just a conduit that is checking if we have certain tag. If we have this tag, we are just entering this linked graph. And this linked graph is taking us here. This is fairly simple. This is the idle animation with some random sequence of additive animations. It's being used here in idle directly. There's a very simple turn in place that will work in all turn in place states because it's run by the frame rate of the actual game. So it doesn't matter how fast you turn. If the play rate of this animation is uh, 90 degrees turn in one second, those values will, will give good results. I will show in a second. And then there is no start or stop animation. It's just going from idle to uh, moving blend space directly. The blend space is set up in a way that is actually using run, walk, slow down walk, which is running at a scaled animation, and then idle. So when you have a transition, it's actually running a very slow animation. I, I really want that. And all the animations blend perfectly. And this is the main setup. Okay, let's look at it. Dedicated server to players, go. Okay, I'll stand somewhere here. And this guy will go in a place where he's visible. Okay, so right now we're not using any turn. This look at is multiplayer ready and it's fully IK and fully replicated. It looks quite well. You can see that the feet are locked even though the pelvis is rotating and moving. You can control the uh, how fast he is rotating and obviously when you're aiming a gun it's it's a different setup. So now let's see different setups of turn in place. This is a uh, um, taking uh, rotation of the control directly so you're always aiming forward and you can see the turn in place being scaled down based on my speed of turning it will actually always do four animations per full 360 cycles so if I turn faster it will just go faster if I turn slow it will play slow and it's uh, adjusting to the frame rate so if my frame rate drops I will still be doing four uh, full steps in 360 so this is one look option. Second is based on um, movement uh, rotation, so movement component rotation. So the rotation is not perfect, it has a little lag and it never rotates faster than certain value that is being input. And that's very useful for multiplayer games. The third movement type is the directional walking that doesn't care for your look at direction it's actually just uh, rotating toward the velocity 
And he's still trying to look where I point my mouse cursor and you can see it in the second window and it works perfectly and this guy actually is looking at him all the time no matter what's the direction hello okay and 4 is no rotation at all now the character will not rotate it's used for I don't know, some scenarios where you don't want the character to be able to rotate at all and want him only to move forward. And fifth is the most slick one. It is using the second method, but only when you hit certain angle. And this angle is 30 de uh, 90 degrees right now. And it stops when it hits 5. So when I, once I hit 90, he starts rotating until he hits a threshold. So he will rotate constantly until I stop moving and he will catch up with my aim. But this is perfect for um, looking around while standing in place. Okay, so this is just a base. You can see also I'm, I'm using IK for hands so they don't look awkward when I'm using uh, IK look around. And it actually looks quite good in multiplayer. You can see in the second window doesn't look very awkward. Okay, so this is a base of what I'm building right now. Uh, it will be fully multiplayer ready and it's built in mind with a first person uh, true perspective that is uh, replicating the entire multiplayer uh, poses. Thanks.